Hi everybody, I'm Nina with Sharing a Journey and today I have four tips from YouTubers that I've watched over the years and these four tips are transformative. Now we've all watched tons of YouTube videos and many of us have tried the techniques that many of the makeup artists and, and, and beauty gurus have suggested. And I can tell you that I have had, let's just say mixed results, especially when I'm taking advice from someone significantly younger than myself. And I think when I was younger, I had no idea what I was going to be dealing with as a mature woman. And now that I'm a mature woman, I'm sort of scrambling to find techniques to work with some of the changes that I've experienced. And the interesting thing about it is that the changes come fast. It's sort of like I woke up one day and I was like, wow, you know, like how did I get like so droopy on one side of my face? Or how come this is just, you know, like I, yeah, oh my, you know? Um, and so these changes send you scrambling, looking for makeup techniques and looking for things that are going to work. Now, one of the first things that sort of went wrong for me was dark circles under my eyes. Now, for years and years and years, I never used concealer. And when I needed it, though, I really needed it. The, the under eye area was very, very dark from about here all the way down. And so the first thing was just plain finding concealer that would work. And I've tried many concealers over the years and I have shared with you in other videos the my favorite concealer currently. So we're not really talking about specifically concealers today, but we're talking about the techniques. Now you'll see a lot of young YouTubers doing the deep V um, application and not only do they do the deep V and use a very ample amount of concealer, but they also layer on a, deep, a thick, I was going to say deep layer, a thick layer of powder. And then they let that sit, which is called baking, and then they brush that away. Now on a young woman with no wrinkles under her eyes, that can be an amazing technique. But for women who have wrinkles, Oh my goodness, I think I looked a hundred after trying that technique. But Angie from Hot and Flashy had an antidote, and that is to take your favorite concealer and then just apply it where you have dark. So for me, it's just a diagonal line here. I blend that in, and that's all. I don't do any more around here. I don't apply copious amounts of powder, just a very light dusting in order to set the concealer and that's it. And then I go ahead and apply makeup as usual. The next tip that I have comes from Mel Thompson. Mel is a Mac makeup artist and YouTuber. She has an amazing channel and does very, very creative and, and interesting makeup. And um, she has this very, very sort of airbrushed look at like on her face. The cheeks are just whoosh. She just, yeah, I mean, I just love it. And all it takes is a brush and some powder. And so essentially what she does in between the steps is she'll add a little bit of powder to the cap of her um, powder, dip her brush in, and then buff. And she just buffs the skin with a beautiful soft powder brush. And just that, it just blends that out. It makes that beautiful, beautiful airbrushed look. Now, the thing with the buffing is that if you are worried about using too much powder, having like all these layers of powder, have no fear. Most of it is buffed together with what's underneath by using a plush uh, natural bristle brush like this one that I'm using here from Sonia G. 
and it just it's just an amazing technique you do not come out looking cakey you look like you have this lit from within glow and it is a beautiful beautiful technique super easy and super quick the next technique comes from stephanie marie and i'm a huge fan of stephanie's um, one of the things that I really like about her channel is her kind of natural um, way of being and she also is very clear about what skin type she has, what issues she has, and that way the viewer has a way of gauging. If you are not, um, if you don't have oily skin and she you know, explains, well, I didn't like this because I have oily skin, then you know, well, maybe this could work for me. That's amount, the amount of information you get. You get a lot when you watch her videos. But the tip that she offers for eyeshadow is actually holding the lid down and then flicking it up, straight up, to go with your eyelashes. It's a quick and easy flick. I did it on my eyes today and it makes all the difference. I have struggled, especially since my eyes are no longer, they were never symmetrical. Eyes are never symmetrical, but they are more noticeably not symmetrical any longer. And I've always been, or not always, but in recent years, I've been struggling with this eye to get everything to look even on both sides. And this technique actually helps to make the eyes appear more even, more similar. So that is tip number three. And tip number four, and the final tip for today comes from Blush With Me Parmita. Um, she has a video channel that sort of mainly centers around modeling and modeling techniques. Um, so she's talking a lot about being in front of the camera, sitting and posing properly, um, and then she throws in some makeup tips. And the one makeup tip that I really like and I use from her regularly is her lip filling te technique. Now what she does is she's got a neutral uh, kind of, uh, what would you say, a lip liner but it is a it is a brown color or a nude color for lighter skin people this color is a color that is slightly darker than your natural lips but falls within that range and you simply run the lip liner at the edge of your lip and then just gently blend it out so that it it's not a harsh line and then you apply your lip color over top of it now what that does is it gives your lips a fuller look and if you want to like have the line be a little bit more pronounced you can do that after you've sort of blended the color and expanded your lip line and then you can go in and add a crisper line if you'd like or you can make it look a little bit more natural depending on what kind of look you're going for. For a lot of people, that is sort of an upper lip booster. For me, it was, I used the technique today to even out my lower lip and make it a little bit more rounded and the same on both sides. So it can be used on the upper lip or lower lip, but it's a very easy technique and it doesn't look strange when your makeup starts to wear off. It doesn't really show. It just sort of creates sort of a bit of a shadow and, th and that's about it. So looking for that holy grail um, a lip liner I think would be the only, the only kind of catch to that. And Charlotte Tilbury has a lot of beautiful lip liners, many of which are made to specifically match the skin colors and the colors of the um, makeup or the lipsticks that she's she's using or designing and so though I would look there if you don't have a nude lip liner that you really really like so those are my tips for today and I hope you're having a great day today 
We'll see you next time. Remember, it's never too late to live your best life.